There was a big meeting over the weekend. EU leaders have failed, though, to come up with a joint solution on migration after Sunday's emergency summit. While members agree on tighter borders and extra funding, the issue of how to fairly distribute asylum seekers remains a sticking point. Let's get out to Willem, who is in uh, Brussels and has more on the story. Oh, so predictable, Willem. Um, why couldn't they break the logjam on this? It's a really interesting question. The question is, Jeff, did they want to? Was there any real uh, firm action that Angela Merkel was looking for other than maybe some European countries agreeing to take some of the people that she doesn't necessarily feel comfortable taking herself? You know, ahead of this meeting, she'd been under a significant amount of domestic political pressure. We heard this over the last 10 days or so. Horst Seehofer, the leader of the CSU in Bavaria, saying that he, as interior minister, was willing to try and change the actions of the German authorities at the borders to Germany in terms of who they allowed in and under what circumstances. She came here yesterday to Brussels, having managed to corral at least you know, a dozen or so other European leaders. Very notably, four Eastern European leaders did not agree to come to the summit. And she sat down with all of them, came out of those meetings yesterday, talked about a huge amount of goodwill. And Pedro Sanchez, the Spanish uh, prime minister, the new, the new man in charge of Madrid, said, yeah, but we didn't get anything concrete out of this. Let's take a listen, first of all, to what Frau Merkel said after these meetings. We all agree that we want to reduce illegal migration, that we want to protect our borders, and that we are all responsible for all issues, which means that it is not acceptable that some are taking care of the so-called primary migration, while others are taking care of the secondary migration, but rather that everyone is responsible for everything, and whenever possible, we of course want to find European solutions, and where this is not possible, we want to bring those who are willing together and develop a common framework for action. Everyone is responsible for everything, Angela Merkel says. But getting everyone, that's all 28 European member states, to agree on anything when it comes to migration later this week is going to be a challenge. The one element, I would say, based on yesterday's meetings, that was something in the right direction in terms of trying to actually deal with this on a very logistical uh, point of view was the idea that we'd heard already from both the French and the Italians of setting up these processing centres for asylum seekers outside of European borders. It does seem like a number of the leaders yesterday were on board with that idea. Making that a reality is going to obviously require a lot of money, a lot of planning. But that at least was something that came out of this meeting yesterday. So when I interviewed, good morning to you, my friend. Uh, when I interviewed uh, Yuki Katainen a while back as well, and he said, do you know what? The Visegrad group, group they're not just like us culturally as well. And this is my question for you as well. Have we got a situation where the Eastern European, the former Central and Eastern European bloc, including, of course, Mr. Orban and Hungary, just turned around saying... No, I don't care what you say. The answer is no. I mean, there's obviously a possibility of any European member state saying no to uh, what the majority are suggesting. The challenge then is how do you fund it through the mechanism of the European Commission? And that's going to be one of the big challenges, of course, for Jean-Claude Juncker going into these meetings later this week. In terms of the, the Hungarians, you know, it's not just them that are proving intransigent on this issue from Angela Merkel's perspective. We had Giuseppe Conte here yesterday. He came with a 10-point proposal that he said represented a paradigm shift. And he came away, he says, relatively satisfied with the meeting. In terms of what those points will be and how he implements them with or without European support is a really, really difficult, difficult question for Frau Merkel to answer. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.